The extreme heat and tender dry conditions are creating more problems for firefighters. More than a dozen fires are burning across five states. But in Colorado, there is progress to report in the battle against the huge Waldo Canyon fire, now in its second week. Here's Anna Warner. Hundreds of cars lined up Sunday as some residents were allowed back into neighborhoods badly damaged by the fire for the first time. Doug Gibson can't move back into his house yet, but it is still standing. So you were lucky. Very. When did you learn that? Uh, probably after I saw the Denver Post pictures and I could actually see our house. But uh, my neighbor's house next to me was burned down. Uh, but many of the other homes that are close by were uh, still in perfect shape. Others found their homes in ashes, the intense flames obliterating almost 350 homes. And though the fire is 45 percent contained and hasn't spread in three days, danger remains. Fire officials tell CBS News conditions now are similar to Tuesday, when the fire raged out of control. That's the reason roughly 10,000 people remain evacuated, down from 30,000 at the height of the fire. He's happy to be home. Some who have returned home found property missing. Linda Burton's car was stolen from in front of the house she was forced to evacuate. It's almost as bad as a house being burned down because you feel violated, that there are people out there that prey upon, you know, victims and, and people that are already suffering. The fire has killed two people, and fighting it has cost nearly $9 million to date. The source of the fire is still unknown. Only this weekend has it become safe enough for investigators to go in to look for a cause. Colorado alone has seen nearly a dozen fires in recent weeks. And with four other western states battling large blazes, the 2012 fire season seems destined to be a busy one. Anna Werner, CBS News, Colorado Springs, Colorado.